bridge here. So for this, like I said before, general rule of thumb is one one amp per uh, one thousandth of thickness of material. So like one hundred and fifty would be one hundred and fifty thousandths, or one twenty five would be an eighth of an inch. Okay. Um, AC AC balance is for uh, you only use this for when you're doing uh, aluminum and AC, and this will control basically how much cleaning action you get in your into your uh, your workpiece. So the, the width of that little white ring around the weld. That'll be an indicator of how clean you're, you're getting. So if you're doing something cast, you want more cleaning action because you probably have more impurities in it. And then there's all kinds of resources on the internet on, on what people set. Like Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks, if you watch his videos, he'll tell you exactly what his settings are. Okay. So he like, and, and he's one of those firm believers in like, he only ever welds at like 70% or something for, for uh, AC balance. Now this machine I think is opposite though. So I think different machines have different dials on them. So I think like his 70% is really the 30% here. Okay, you so I should, I mean? if I'm doing aluminum, I should generally put it on three. I believe so, yeah. And then if I'm doing cast or something like that, like like the cylinder that's, that might be dirty or thick or something, I should keep going up. I think actually you get more cleaning action going this way. Oh, so the lower down. Yeah, so okay. I think it's more, I, th I think. Okay. So if I'm doing something like really thin and really clean, it would be like on nine or ten I, or something? I, yeah, yeah, okay. yep, I think so. All right, I got you. And what's the one underneath that? Crater time. Ah, oh, crater time. I think that's for arc welding. Okay. For stick welding. How would I turn it onto arc welding versus TIG? Like if I wanted to. That I think that's in here. Oh, in the manual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never done it. Okay. Okay, and then these ones, what are the... This is, okay, so, crater, so I think this just turns this on and off. Okay, so it's on. Yeah. So it's a TIG weld, I guess, I have to have it on. It might not matter. Okay. It might be one of the ones that doesn't matter if it's on or off. I, 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 okay. I can't remember. Uh, amperage control, uh, panel, or remote. So, panel would be if you're doing, like, scratch start and you don't have a foot pedal. So your foot pedal controls your amperage, right? All the way down right now is 150 amps. Oh, I get it. Okay, so that's why it says remote, because it, it yeah, means because, the, yeah, the foot panel exactly. is remote. Yeah. And then panel would be if and, I was striking it. Yeah, and it would be, you would strike your arc, right? If it was set to panel, it would strike at 150 amps, and that's all you would get. With the with the foot pedal, you can adjust it it's below. Zero, okay. It's zero to one fifty, depending on how far you're pressing down on the pedal. All right, I got you. Okay, and then what's this thing? Output contact. Was that also? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably never taken it off remote. Okay, so just uh, keep it on remote. Don't worry about it. Go all on. this stuff is in the. I'm pretty sure it's in the manual on on, uh, on what they do. Okay. Yeah, sometimes this is easy. Like whatever you know, it's exactly, easier. Yeah, because yeah. the manual, I'm sure I'll read it eventually. But, yeah. Um, okay, and then high frequency start. You said to keep it on continuous for for, for AC, AC for aluminum for aluminum or AC so AC and then continuous yeah. for a aluminum continuous. Okay. Yeah, and then start would be just for electro negative or electro positive so for steel. So if I was going to turn this down to steel, I'd put that on Just high start. frequency and all that's, start. All that's doing is when you mash the foot pedal down, it's making the arc jump from your tungsten to your workpiece. Okay. And you said positive electrode was for really thin yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's, it puts the heat into the electrode, okay. into so your tungsten. So it would like ball it up, basically. It will ball it up, yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's for everything? Like thin? Like a thin aluminum or thin steel? Or no, thin? it's only for... Um, steel anything in aluminum you have to do on ac okay i got you some stuff in aluminum you can do on dc but you need helium gas to do it yeah because it gets hotter or something you can... it, it helps transfer the heat to the to the workpiece more okay but that stuff like you can youtube's out kind yeah. of stuff on how to do that i think argon is probably <laughs> yeah. for the and most you want part. To do straight argon on a tig you can't use the same gas you use on your mig yeah, somebody online did that and it messed up the welds yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Um, and then what is arc control? Arc control, not, that one I'm pretty sure is for, is for uh, stick welding. 
Okay, so just keep it on whatever. Yeah. And don't worry about it until I'll stick. And I could look that up. And then post flow is this is the amount of seconds. Yeah. That the gas will still flow after you stop yeah. pushing on the pedal. And they base that on how thick your tungsten is. So you have, so yeah, three thirty seconds are saying somewhere between ten and twenty seconds. I think that's a little long. So that's actually the tungsten rods. Diameter, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. So if you put an eighth inch tungsten rod in, you're saying twenty to forty seconds. So if I put in like a quarter inch, I have to hold it for a whole minute over there to cool it off. Yeah. Because it holds so much heat because it's so thick. And that's to save the, the tungsten rod, yeah, the tungsten not, will... not the piece. Uh, both. Uh, okay, it's for both. both, yeah. Because if you're using a quarter inch tungsten rod, you're probably welding something really thick. Yeah, like half inch or something. Yeah. Okay. Alright, cool. I got you. That's really cool. And then this is obviously on off. Yeah. Uh, and then under here, there's... Oh, yeah. What is this? What is this? There's high frequency intensity. So, the, so if you ever have a problem where you're hitting the pedal... And your arc isn't jumping you can adjust like how how much intensity goes into that jump basically okay. i've so never had to touch it okay. I just leave it where it's at at like 50 ish no 45 yeah w what did you say about adjusting this thing those are the uh the gap the the, the gaps for the uh high frequency yeah so so if i were to step on the pedal now you would see like arcs gapping through there and oh. there's a setting i think it's like 10 or 20 thousandths in the manual and so I, i'd have to measure it and put it a, a, you just use feeler gauges to do it yeah i've got one of those little dial uh calipers digital cam i don't know if that's sensitive i'll show you this is what i use here a set of these. Yeah. Yeah. oh yeah i got this like, like feeler gauges so you get like a 10 I think you can loosen the screws, put it in there, and just make sure that it's like 10 or whatever the manual says it should be. Okay. I did it when I cleaned them and, and gapped them when I got it, so I think you're probably all right. Okay. And then you said that uh, this piece, if I wanted to get water, A water cooler, yeah. cooler, I would take this thing off. Yeah, and put that on there, and then put this back on. No, your 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 water cool torch will have an end like this, right? And your water cooler will have an end like this. So you hook your torch up. I can't remember which side is which. Oh, okay, I got so you. You hook your torch okay. up to one side, and your water cooler up to the other. Yeah. Okay, and then, and then the current will just flow through this into the into the torch. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just disconnect. And this is, I would also disconnect this to put the arc welder on here. Yep. This one I just leave. This other cable. Yeah. Okay, and then is that a fuse or something? Or? Yeah, that's for this. Like, if you get a water cooler, then I'd plug it in up here. Plug it in here because that way it would come on when you turn your welder on. It's really convenient. Okay. And that's just a 15 amp fuse for that. What, what is this thing? That's your gas. Oh, okay. So this is your gas in from the tank. This is your gas out. This is solenoid. So when you step on the pedal, it'll kick this on. Okay. So, okay, got you. Just like my fish tank. All right, that looks really good. And then this is the 110 amp, I guess, input. So I'll ask the electrician about that. Yeah. Um, and that, what what, what are these things? The Those are options. Like on some of these models, you can get like little meters that go here. Oh. And then uh, pre flow and oh, okay. spot time. That's like this, so that's for spot welding. Like if you want it, you can just hit, hit, the, hit the pedal and let off and it'll run for a certain amount of time and then stop okay so that's cool so these are just those are add-ons yeah that's cool and then for this you said what, what type of regulator can i get um and this what? is this is like the economy version if i were you i would get this one that's I probably the one i'll get <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like the ones with the dials on them uh where, where you control the flow of the dial the, uh, for, these are uh like flow meter style okay uh, I could probably give you a part number off of this one. It's a Smith H205-1A-580. And I, I've used that on a bunch of different stuff. It's my favorite one because it's not very expensive. Okay. And then I put it on the neck pressure? Like 2,000 PSI? No, that's the tank pressure. Oh, that's the tank pressure. Okay. So 20 here. Is oh, oh, okay. For I got you. Yeah, I'm used to the ones with two two dials. Okay, so 20 psi. This is like 
full uh, tank. cubic feet per minute or a cubic feet per second. So it's 20. Some people say 15, some people say 25, depending on what you're doing. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah.